Hey guys, this is Katie Noble with Impact Promotions. I am here today with Anthony Lowry. Anthony is currently 0-1 and hoping to gain redemption against fighter Chris Capshaw, who is also 0-1, on April 1st for an amateur bantamweight bout. Tell me where you train, Anthony. So I train out of Bad Company MMA, which is in Canton. Obviously, repping the uh, hoodie right now uh, with my coach, Mark Kane, and all our team. And, and I know Mark's, Mark is actually a great trainer. Like he's probably one of the best that I know. He'll be, he'll be getting in there and going just as hard with us as we'll go with him. So in my opinion, one of the best fights to train. Good. So your last fight was an exhibition against Brock Davis in which you won. Congratulations. Your leg kicks you. look absolutely brutal. Do you plan to bring those into the cage on April 1st? Yeah, I don't want to reveal too, too much, but you know, my, uh, my leg kicks, just my kicks in general are something that I consider a strong suit. Like I have a big background in just uh, striking and Taekwondo. So my kicks have always been kind of my weapon, but you know, I'm trying not to like prioritize them too much anymore. Just I never want to give away that, that that's my weapon, you know? So, you know, I plan to mix it up a little bit in this upcoming fight. Absolutely. You had a very dominant performance over Davis. Do you think that you'll have the same performance against Capshaw? I think Capshaw will be a little bit harder. Honestly, like I don't want to put him down. Uh, I don't want to put Davis down either, but Davis was uh, obviously it was an exhibition. So the weights were a little mismatched. And then I know Davis was really just an independent trained guy, you know, somebody who, who went out and trained on his own and just wanted to come and get experience. While Capshaw, I know he's going to be coming from a gym and Obviously, while he wasn't ranked like I was, he's still on that list, you know, and he's been in a fight before. So that just comes with any kind of experience. So I can never really expect a dominant performance, but I can always just imagine having one and then try to make that a reality. Right. So you look great, both standing and on the ground in your exhibition. If you could choose how and where would you finish your fight with Capshaw without giving us your entire game plan? Honestly, if I had just a perfect, perfect fight, I'd have to say second round by a TKO. Probably something a little bit similar to how, how it went down Davis. Okay. All right. Well, that is all the questions that I have for you, Anthony. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to meet with me. Do you have any questions or anything that you want to say to your fans? Uh, just look forward to a good fight, really. Be sure you guys get your tickets for Beatdown at the Beach 28 before they are sold out. Thank you so much again for your time. And as always, we're doing it the impact way.